you measure power of a human brain? Do you guys know how they measure the I don't know, speed of a computer, for example? Hertz, uh, operations per second. So if you compare two computers, which one's faster? Well, the one that can do more operations per second. Until three years ago, I could tell you that uh, they still can't build a computer that's faster as a human brain. Every five years or so, scientists get together and say, let's build a computer that's as fast in terms of processing power as human brain. So every time they get together, they abandon the project because they can't build one. Ten years ago, that computer would have to be the size of this planet. Fast forward today, if you want to computing, and it's faster than human brain. <laughs> Up to recently, we had nothing to compare the processing of this thing that you have in your head. There was this uh, doctor, he had two sons, they also became doctors. He was an excellent chess player, he had a you know, great life. When he died, his son did the autopsy on his own dad, and they discovered, he opened him up, and he discovered this man he had no brain. So, so there are some people without the actual brain, okay? But most of us think we have a brain. But the idea is, we have this gray mass inside, and it's super powerful. It's so powerful that computing power is just out of this world. Come back, let me come.